Hey everyone, I'm Zark Lee and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. I'm extremely excited to announce that today we are releasing the next major update for the game, which contains a huge batch of optimizations and improvements. The biggest area of improvements is to render performance, with textures and models now being loaded asynchronously. Now here's some more specific examples of improvements. CPU performance has been optimized to run the Easy Start Earth scenario and 16 red ships flying through space at 60 FPS on a 3 GHz hyperthreaded quad core processor. Meanwhile, GPU performance has been optimized to run the same scenarios at 60 FPS at 1080p on high settings with an Nvidia GTX 980. Please keep in mind that increases to performance are not just limited to these scenarios, but will in fact positively impact most, if not all, worlds and hardware configurations. We've also added new shader quality options in graphical settings, which affects the quality of atmosphere, trees and voxel rendering. Detection of GPU performance now occurs upon first startup of the game, and shadows are now higher quality in general, although tree shadows will now be disabled on lower quality settings. Multi-threading as well as indirect lighting has been fixed on Intel GPUs and some compatibility issues with the Windows 10 Creators update were resolved. Other optimizations include loading times being massively reduced for both game worlds and the copying and pasting of grids. Just take a look at some of the numbers from before and after the optimizations were made. For those of you who are interested, this was achieved by using cached protobuffer files. I'm sure that everyone will be pleased to hear that pistons should no longer explode as frequently as they have done in the past, due to the engine team tracking down a source of problems related to them. Moving on to some smaller changes, we improved tool animations even more and increased the visibility of certain HUD elements. Additionally, there are many other general improvements in this update which should fix lots of the issues that players have been experiencing recently. The team would just like to remind you once again that as this is a major update, there have been many significant changes to code, so we will especially appreciate any bug reports sent in by the community. This will allow us to find issues quicker and get them fixed as soon as possible. It's also worth pointing out that if necessary, you can always revert to a previous major version of the game via the betas tab in Steam under Game Properties. But that's all for now. If you're interested in the full list of optimizations, tweaks and other improvements in this update, please see the changelog on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week and here's a quote to end on. The sky calls to us. If we do not destroy ourselves, we will one day venture to the stars.